What's going on Card Clout? In today's video, we're gonna be just going through my uh, card collection and, uh, and I'm just gonna show you the different highlights of my card collection and try to, it's probably gonna be a pretty lengthy video. So, uh, hope you enjoy and if you like the video, please like and subscribe and uh, check out my videos I got coming up. Now turn up. Hello, Card Clout, and uh, for my first video, I'm going to be going through my uh, personal card collection. Now, I've only been collecting cards since uh, probably the beginning of March of this year, uh, so it's not a very, uh, ex I don't think it's a very extensive collection, but uh, there are a few key cards and here I have a few slab cards and I have you know my PC I PC the Cowboys uh, hopefully we can do some good this year with Prescott being back but uh so I guess uh, I'm just gonna start off showing you my uh, PC collection my Cowboys collection and uh, see what you think to Started off, we have this uh, limited ink Dallas Cowboys Demarcus Lawrence auto, and it's numbered eight to ten. I don't know if you can see that there. It's numbered eight to ten. It's a very beautiful card, and here's the back if you want to check it out. It's a very beautiful card. So that's a limited ink Demarcus Lawrence numbered eight to ten. Here's a volcanic, uh, obsidian volcanic from 2020 Panini CD Lamb. And it's numbered as well. It's numbered, I don't remember what it's numbered. Uh, where is the number at? Anyway, I don't remember what it's numbered. I know it's numbered, but, uh, it's, here's the number. It's numbered 17 of 25. This one's numbered 17 of 25. Sorry about that. Uh, just now getting used to where to find the numbers. And these next couple weren't that expensive, but they're still Cowboys nonetheless. This is a Julius Jones All Ultra Team. Uh... It's uh, 2005, I believe. Julius Jones, all ultra team. So we got that going. Next up is the DeMarco Murray uh, NFL patch. DeMarco Murray. All right, there we go. Try to run through these fairly quickly. Next is a, so this is my favorite, one of my favorite sets, well, probably my favorite set uh, of the newer sets. This is a Select CD Lamb. This is just a base card. Select CD Lamb right there. And this is a uh, uh, Select Unbreakable uh, Emmett Smith. Yeah, that's select Unbreakable Emmett Smith right there. And here's a uh, turbocharged select Emmett Smith. Pretty nice cards. Uh, this is a Facebook buy. And this is a Troy Aikman uh, Flare Showcase. Uh, I don't know what year it is, 1990s something, but uh, anyway, it's a Facebook buy, Real, not, a, not a very expensive card at all, <clears throat> and this is probably one of my favorite Cowboys cards, this is an Ezekiel Elliott, uh, this is a blue checkerboard die cut, uh, so from Select, uh, you see that, the way it's cut like that, I really like those die cut cards again not a very expensive card maybe 
maybe a three to five dollar card but it's you know it's my pc so it really doesn't matter on that and here is the another variation of that card uh zico elliott again but it's the same it's the same as that card it's just the i guess you would call it the base variation from select so you got that card and uh This next card is a rookie, uh, rookie Des Bryant. It's from Topps Chrome. It's Topps Chrome rookie, Des Bryant right there. You see the back. All right. And the next one, this is a uh, rookies and uh, rookies and stars, I believe, is the set. Yeah, rookies and stars. And this is a uh, Dorrance Armstrong. You see how those cars look. Next up, we have a, a Rookies and Stars, Dalton Schultz. Another pretty good receiver or tight end, I should say. Dalton Schultz. Uh, next one is another this one also is a Topps Chrome. I have another Topps Chrome Des Bryant. Uh, the next one is a Deck Prescott. Uh, this is just a, an insert from uh, Panini. It's Panini uh, certified uh, insert. It's called Seal of Approval Deck Prescott. And the next one is a Leighton Vander Esch, uh, Rookies and Stars. Right here. That's what the Rookies and Stars look like. Again, though, the Rookies and Stars are not a very expensive set to get. I think I bought a whole Cowboys Rookies and Stars set for maybe, maybe uh, five or six bucks, I think. This is a, another Rookies and Stars. Uh, rookie card, uh, Mike White from the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I haven't, I mean, I'm a Cowboys fan. I hadn't even heard of him, so he must not be doing anything. Okay, here's a uh, Ezekiel Elliott and another, this is another insert, but it's from Rookies and Stars. This is a star-studded Ezekiel Elliott. See that? Nice card. Okay, this is a uh, another ZQL, just the base card, rookies and stars. The next one is a Dak Prescott insert. It's another insert. It's action packed from rookies and stars. You see, it's a sideways card. I don't know. I'm not a real big fan of the sideways cards. You know, I like them, you know, up and down. But, you know, it's whatever. Still Cowboys. This is a uh, standing ovation Ezekiel Elliott. Also from Rookies and Stars. You see that? This is a another insert. Precision passes. Precision passers. Rookies and Stars, Dak Prescott. Again, I bought this whole set. Like, all these Rookies and Stars came in a set. And like I said, I probably spent less than 10 bucks on the whole set. This is another Rookies and Stars. Another Dak Prescott. Uh, just a different variation. I really like those unis that we that we use. Those blue and blue jerseys and white pants. I really like those. Here's a, a Michael Gallup. This is a rookie card from the Rookies and Stars set. Again, not a very expensive card, but it's still a rookie card. So here's another one. Uh, Alan Hearns. Everybody remembers him. He doesn't play for the Cowboys anymore. But uh, I remember that one game he uh, messed up his ankle pretty bad. It was pretty gruesome. Andrew, if you want to look that up, check it out on YouTube. But that's Alan Hearns. 
Not really sure who he plays for now. I think he plays for Miami. This is a C.D. Lamb uh, rated rookie from Don uh, Panini. C.D. Lamb rated rookie. Uh, that card might be hopefully worth a little bit of money one day. But again, this is my PC, so it's really not about the money. And uh, these next, uh, let me see, these next couple of cards are just some cards that I found. These are like super cheap cards that, you know, these were playing before I even knew what the Dallas Cowboys were, really. Uh, Kevin Williams, I don't know if you can see that. This is Upper Deck, and it's from uh, Upper Deck 1999, I believe. Anyway, you can see that right there. And uh, the last card of my PC is uh, Derek Lassick. This is a, a rookie, Derek Lassick. It's another just a cheap card that I, you know, I picked up. I think I picked up both of these from a, uh, both of the, the last two cards I just showed you, I picked up from a, uh, a thrift store, kind of like, I guess you would call it. Anyway, that's my uh, PC cards. Now I'm going to show you just some, uh, a few cards that's uh, not graded, but uh, they're still cool. Or that's not Dallas Cowboys, they're still cool. Here's a Devin DuVernay RPA, and it's number three. What's that? 326 out of 499. As you can see, that's a Devin Duvernay. A glare. 326 out of you see that patch, that's a tricolor patch. It's a pretty nice card again. It's not a very that one wasn't very expensive. And here's is a uh Muhammad Sanu. And I, I believe everybody called him Junior Sanu uh back when he was playing, but that's a autograph as you can see. It's an official autograph card. Oh, uh, these next cards are pretty cool. I have, uh, how many of these? I have one, two, three. Have three of these. Uh, have three of these, as you can see. They're actually Tom Brady cards. Uh, I mean, they're custom cards. They're not actual from an actual company like Upper Deck or anything like that. They're custom cards, but they're his Montreal Expos. Apparently, I don't keep up with Tom Brady, so I didn't know, but apparently he uh, was drafted by the Expos before he even played football. And from one of the stories I've read, uh, he uh, obviously wasn't good at baseball and the coach, the baseball coach told him that he should just stick to football or go with football, so uh, henceforth we have Tom Brady in football. And I have a, you know, a couple of more Tom Brady's to show you in a second. But uh, this one's actually pretty cool. I actually went to high school with this guy. Uh, actually, he was probably in junior high when I was in high school. But uh, this is a pretty cool card, pretty cheap card. Jordan Thomas, when he this is his rookie card when he played for the Houston Texans. Uh, I think he's, uh, I don't know, I think he's with the Arizona Cardinals now. I uh, haven't really kept up with him, so I don't really know. Uh, this is a, this is a pretty card. It's a prism, a checkerboard prism from, uh, it's Teddy Bruschi, and it's from, this is a, this is a 2020 prism. I guess it's like an insert or something like that. But anyway, here's the back. It's a pretty nice card. It's not numbered or anything like that, so. But it's still nice. And uh, these next cards are, are of Jerry Rice, but they're, again, they're not very expensive cards. This is a Jerry Rice mosaic card. Uh, it's a pretty nice card. This is a Jerry Rice Touchdown Masters card. I'm trying to run through these real quick. Uh, this is a 
Hall of Fame, Jerry Rice. Again, not very expensive cards. And this is a, I don't know what the exact color or anything of this is, if anybody can tell me, but that's a Jerry Rice card. It's a very nice and, as you can tell, a very shiny card. Here's another shiny Jerry Rice. Uh, Hall of uh, Will to Win, Jerry Rice. Pretty, pretty shiny card. All right. Oh, my foot's going to sleep. Pardon me. Oh, oh man. All right. Now, these next cards are some that I may get graded in the future, or maybe not. But uh, this is a uh, Green Bay Packers uh, Mark Burnell rookie card, as you can see. Uh, this is a Dan Marino, uh, card. It's strictly business. Dan Marino. And, uh, these two right here are a couple of my prize, or actually, well, let's just show these two first. These two right here are a couple of my prize possessions. Uh, these are Kobe Bryant SP rookie cards. R.I.P. Kobe. You know, I never really watched a whole lot of basketball, but I, I mean, I knew who Kobe Bryant was, but never really watched a whole lot of basketball. But, uh, you know, when I, when I, I just woke up one morning and looked at my phone and it said Kobe Bryant had died. And, you know, you hear all these rumors about celebrities dying and, and you just, some most of them are fake like i've heard chuck norris and i've heard vin diesel and i've heard the rock you know people making jokes about them dying not sure why anybody would do that but then i heard about kobe bryant and his daughter dying in a plane crash or in a helicopter crash with a bunch of other people and it kind of shook me a little bit especially to find out that his daughter was in the helicopter with him and uh, i have a uh fisting to be a three-year-old daughter myself so it kind of hit me pretty hard and uh but anyway here's another kobe card this is his 2001 sp the the other two i showed you were his 1996 sp okay and then here's my uh hometown hero brett Favre. right here this is a brett Favre. uh i believe it's called a select purple die cut uh, I'm not too sure on the terminology, but this is from 2021 uh, Select. It's a pretty nice card. And here's a, uh, a Panini Mosaic. I believe this is 2020. 2020 Panini Mosaic, Brett Favre, just a base card. And uh, these next three, or well, how many? One, two, three four, five. These next five, I have all, five of these. These are uh, all the same card and they're Brett Favre from uh, his college playing days. He actually played college ball in my hometown of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. So uh, at the University of Southern Miss, uh, University of Southern Miss, go, he was a Golden Eagle. And so he, and so I got a few of those cards that were cheap. I think I might have played 50 cents a card or something like that. Oh, here's a, one of the highlighted rookies of this year's draft class, uh, Joe Burrow. That's just a, a base card though, a uh, base rookie. So it's worth, maybe worth a little bit, but uh, not really too sure on the comps on that one. And here's one I picked up, uh, a rated rookie from uh, Optic. A Donruss Optic rated rookie, uh, Kobe White. A little another basketball from the Chicago Bulls. So uh, we'll see what he does. And here's a, uh, uh, this is a pretty cool one. Back before Tom Brady was a quarterback for uh, the Patriots, it was, uh, of course, we all know Drew Bledsoe. And uh, so I got that card. And uh, let's see. Okay, this is a uh, Vince Carter 
uh, Topps Chrome. I think, I believe it's 01. Not really sure on the year. I think it's 2001. If anybody can tell me real quick, it's, I believe it's 2001, but that's a Topps Chrome. Uh, all right, here's my uh, two Tom Brady. Tom Brady season tickets from uh, with his Tampa Bay Uni on. So, I mean, again, nothing special, but, you know, maybe worth something one day, maybe not. This is a, uh, this is another, uh, Donruss, Donruss, I believe it's Don, yeah, Donruss, and this is a rookie, Tristan Worf, uh, that's his draft, his draft pick, draft picture, what are you going to call it? Uh, this is a custom car, but it's one of the highlighted rookies of this year's draft class is Justin Fields, again, it's not an actual real card, it's, just a custom car that somebody made just for fun. But it's Justin Fields. You know, he was the 2021 number one draft pick. Or he was round one pick 11. So that's that's pretty cool. Here's a uh, Ja Morant from the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, I went to a couple of Memphis Grizzlies games back a few years back. But uh, I lived 20 minutes from Memphis when I was going to Bible college. So I figured I'd get a Ja Morant rookie card and I hear he's doing pretty good <clears throat> but uh, we'll see what happens and uh, this next one is a Vince Carter rookie <clears throat> you know he's famous for his flashy dunks uh, he's up there with Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant and all them but uh, he was to me uh, from what I've seen he's from what I remember he's probably one of the best dunkers uh that's ever put on an NBA uniform, in my opinion. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, here's a uh, Shaquille O'Neal rookie. This is another Facebook buy, about 30 bucks. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal, you know, we all know him from the Lakers. I know him from the Lakers. I never, really do, never watched him play for the Magic. So, and this is a, uh, one of the greatest to ever do it right here, Michael Jordan. This is his 89. Uh, the year I was born, the eight, his 89 card. It's not his rookie card. Uh, his rookie card right now, I think ungraded. I've seen one selling for 6500 So uh, everybody knows about that card. <clears throat> and this next card is another uh, another one of my hometown people from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. This is a, a Jonathan Papelbon rookie card. Uh, he was the closing pitcher for the uh, Boston Red Sox, I believe. Yeah, the Red Sox. <clears throat> so that's something else I have. And uh, that's it for those cards. And uh, next, I'm going to take you to my slabbed cards. Uh, let's see which one I want to do first. I have one, two, I have four. You know what, let's do the, the, the GOAT of the NFL right now. Let's do Tom Brady. That's a PSA 9. As you can see, there's the back PSA 9. Now, I didn't send these off myself. I, uh, <clears throat> I had, they was already graded and I when I bought them online on eBay. And here's a one of the highlighted rookies of this year's draft, or last year's draft class, I guess. This is a 2019 Kyler Murray. As you can see, that shimmer. And uh, here's a uh, 2019 Patrick Mahomes. This is my only 10 right now, but I have another Brady coming. This is my only PSA 10 right now, though. But uh, And uh, here's one. I'm, again, I'm a Cowboys fan. This was a super, super cheap card. It wasn't, he wasn't very good, but, you know, this was a, just a cheap buy. This is my first slab, uh, PSA uh, 10, Quincy Carter. So, yeah, I mean, that's nothing special. But uh, anyway, and I also have this box of, uh, there's a bunch of football and a bunch of basketball. I had some, uh, some more Panini contenders in there that went with the top two Tom Brady ones that I had. 
but uh, we won't go through them today. Maybe in a separate video, we will. Uh, this video is already 25 minutes long. So uh, if you like this video, if you stayed this long, I appreciate you. This is my first video. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not new to the YouTube scene. I have another YouTube channel, but it, I mean, it was a gun review channel, so I didn't... You know, guns are expensive and scarce and everything else right now and hard to find and hard to pay for. And this is, you know, I just wanted to start another YouTube channel and see what happens. Uh, but anyway, I hope this video find, I hope you find some enjoyment out of this video. And maybe you could tell me something about your collection. Otherwise, like and subscribe and uh, look out for the next video. I actually have some... Uh, what are they called? Let me look at my phone real quick. My eBay account. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, by again, let's go to, I have a couple of packs of 2020 Panini, Panini Prestige packs, or not 2020, 2010, Panini Prestige packs of football that I'll open uh, once I get them. I got them on the way. And uh, I'm bidding on, on some more packs. So hopefully I have those, uh, hopefully I win those and have those coming and I will op probably open all four of those uh, at the same time. And uh, so make for a longer video. But anyway, if you like this video, like the video. If you like it, hit that like button, subscribe to uh, Card Clout and uh, we'll see you next time. Now turn up.